So we just finished converting all of the topo shots that we received from the surveyor from text into drawing objects which we applied to an existing grade surface as a definition. Currently I'm in the O3 convert text to Kogo points drawing within your tutorials folder and I'm currently looking at my tool space I'm expanding the surfaces and then I'm going to expand the existing grade surface which we recently created and then under definition you can see under drawing objects we have our topo shots that we recently converted now what Civil 3D has the ability to do is to extract the point information that makes up our existing grade surface we can extract all of those points and we can create actual Kogo points out of those points. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go into our drawing and we'll take a look at our shot. Now what we'll do first is we'll go into our existing grade surface. We'll right click and go into surface properties and what you'll see if you click on this button here is currently our points for our surface within the surface style it's currently turned off so I'll, I'll show you what happens if that is left off when we try to extract information from our surface let's go ahead and select our surface I'll back out of here a little bit so you can see things a little bit better we have our contextual menu. If we click on the surface tools, click on this drop down, extract objects, you'll see that we only have two options within our dialog box. We can only extract major contours and minor contours. We don't want that to happen. We'll cancel out of this and then we'll go back into our surface properties and we'll edit our surface style once more and we'll actually turn the points on. Right now I'm in the display tab within my surface style panel. Make sure that this is turned on, then click OK, click OK. You'll see all of these little pluses all over your site. So now if we go ahead and select our surface, We'll go into the same area under Surface Tools, Extract from Surface, click the drop down, Now Extract Objects, and you'll see that the points now show up. We don't want minor or major contours to be extracted. We only want the points, so make sure that only that is checked. Then click OK. Then we'll press Escape, and if we zoom into one of these points, and select it you can see that under properties this is in fact a point and it's so small that you probably wouldn't even be able to tell if that was there if it wasn't selected but go ahead and select it in fact I'm gonna select all of them I'm gonna select that right click select similar we've got about 459 points within our drawing and if I zoom out, I'll begin to get a sense of how many points we have going on in here. What we want to do next is we want to convert all of those AutoCAD points to actual Kogo points within Civil 3D. So the way that we can go about doing that, first off, we have to check and see if we actually have any Kogo points currently within the drawing. Did the surveyor give us any Kogo points? Let's check this out. Go under points and you can see that there are some Kogo points within the drawing. However, if I select one of them, press Control A to select all of the points, right click and hit select, you can see the points that currently exist within the drawing and all of these points we zoom in a little bit more 
they aren't the actual points that are on site. We want on site points. So these points, these cocoa points, I should say, currently reflect more of like the off site features within the survey. So what we'll do is we'll create Kogo points for all of these AutoCAD points on site. So we can accomplish that by going into your point creation tools panel. We'll expand all of these items. Move this off, off to the side. Now what we want to do is we want to set our point defaults so we're not having to manually enter in information for every single point that Civil 3D converts within the drawing. So we can do that by first, do we want the points to be prompted for elevations? No, I don't want that. I want that to be automatic. What about prompt for point names? Uh, we'll select none at this point. What about prompting for descriptions? We'll change that to automatic. That's very important. Default elevation, we don't have to mess with that too much. For the default description, I'm going to create a point description. i turn on my caps lock and I'll type in my points. And then for the next point number down here under point identity, we'll leave the rest of this stuff at its defaults. For the next point number, I want it to be at about 30,000. Because I notice that all of these point numbers for all of the on-site, excuse me, all of the off-site points that the surveyor shot, they're all in the 10,000s. So to avoid any sort of confusion, I'm going to set these to be within the 30,000s. And under sequence, point numbers from, we're going to type that number in again, 30,000. We'll leave everything else at its defaults. So all of our defaults are currently set. Now we need to select the AutoCAD points once again. We need to go and select one of them, right click, and select select similar. Now we have all of our points selected. We'll go into our create points panel, click this drop down menu, then convert AutoCAD points. And we'll type in P, then press enter to select all of our previous selection points. Then we'll press enter one more time. And now we have our points. All of our points are showing up and they're at the proper elevation. The elevation matches and it's across our entire site. Lastly, what if I want to create a point group to organize all of this brand new information within my drawing? I can accomplish that by going into my tool space, then under point groups, select this, right click, and select new. We're going to give it a name and we're going to call it my dash points. And we'll include this checkbox with full descriptions matching my points. Then click Apply, then click OK. You'll see that we have a box with a black dot, which means that there are points that are loaded within that particular group. So let's go ahead and select that. And you can see all of our points now within the 30,000 range are now showing within our drawing. So that's just another way to be able to create more data and more information, perhaps to include within your surface or within your groups of points, 
when you have limited information that's given to you by the surveyor.